Now to the great Christmas tree debate. It's a question that's puzzled families for generations. Real or artificial? Okay, Carter Evans takes a look at which one is better for your wallet and the environment. Tis the season to pick out that perfect tree and in some cases, pack it in a box and take it home. I've been wanting this for five, six years. Tired of paying for live trees every Christmas, Weena and I just bought an artificial one against her family's wishes. How many years do you think you have to keep this tree for it to pay off? I, I'll be happy if I get five. Artificial or not, price increases are real this year. Most wholesale growers say they have to charge up to 15% more. Why are prices going up on Christmas trees? Well, first of all, there's a lot of labor in a Christmas tree. Christmas tree lot owner Tina Callis has also seen supply shortages. When it comes to artificial trees, high shipping fees from China are adding to the cost. Did you have to raise your prices? Yeah. Larry Gold sells top-of-the-line trees in Los Angeles. So how much does a tree like this cost? This tree's about $1,100. $1,100? Wow. He says cheaper trees may not look as real or last as long. But which tree has more impact on the environment? Fresh ones like this you cut down every year or an artificial tree like this one made of plastic that you can reuse? It's a big debate. Which is better? Unquestionably, it's the real tree. Nature Conservancy Director Bill Olfelder says live Christmas trees are a renewable resource that can be recycled. How long would you have to keep an artificial Christmas tree to have potentially a lower carbon footprint? I've seen some figures say seven or eight years. I've seen some as long as 20. So it's not an insignificant amount of time. When you're recycling a living tree, make sure you get all the ornaments off it. It can really mess up the mulching process. And to get the most bang for your buck when it comes to an artificial tree, well, make sure you get one that you're going to like for many years to come. And maybe pick up some pine scented air freshener. Carter Evans, CBS News, Los Angeles.